Oh, so he came back. For some more Ao Zora My Q, episode 4. Last time, Sora was in a very cute and sexy nightgown. With pearls for some reason, because I guess she wore those at night. Anyway, we played cards, and then I went, to, uh, Awakun went to sleep with the door locked. <laughs> okay, now we start again. The first half of the next day was peaceful. I just played games while Sora cleaned. Yeah, I think I said that last on the end of last one. Well, cleaning house, cleaning was a wrong word. It was more she destroyed everything in her path. <laughs> I don't know how many vases, jars, plates, and mugs she had already broken. I really have no idea how I'll explain that to my parents if they ever come back. Wow, that's a that's a very poor phrase to say. As if that wasn't enough, she apparently had never used a vacuum cleaner before and managed to cause the bat back to explode. <laughs> Making the living room even messier than it was before. Hmm. Gotta love those first time cleaners. Hmm. I remember when I was a kid, I was only two. I learned how to use a mini tiny vacuum cleaner, micro vacuum cleaner, at the age of two. Yes, I have video confirmation for that. It got to the point where I had ordered her to basically sit still and not touch anything while I cleaned it up myself. <laughs> Wow, she is clumsy. Cute. I know I said that if you want to stay here, you need to do the household chores, but you really need to figure out how to do them properly. I've already apologized like a, a million times. A simple sorry doesn't change the mess you've made. You really should go to a seminar or something. Well, I guess you were a rich girl before all this, and someone did everything for you. That's not true. I just I had a totally different life. I never lived in a house or had warm meals. What? What? Uh, you were homeless? Don't modders without homes live in the children's homes? It's complicated. Anyway, I will learn to be a better housewife for you. And she changed the topic again. You're not my wife. So, but so long as you do better. It's a promise. I'll study up. Study now. Oh. Uh, don't tell me. Oh. I, have, I just had a thought. She was homeless. But. She fell out of the sky naked. Is she a bird? It's like all of a sudden a bird transforms into a human. I hate birds already. I despise the crap out of them. They uh, poop on your car. They uh, steal your quarters. They do everything. Hmm. I was thinking about getting some fresh air. It's way too dusty in here, but I guess I have to go alone now. Screw the books. I'll go with you, Alakoon. Every time I go into the college classroom. That was fast. <sighs> do whatever you want. But whoa! Too many clouds. I went to the front door and put on my shoes. Wait a second, I need to change clothes first. Okay, I'll wait one second. And if you're not, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I had some coke. And if you're not changed into, I'll leave you without you. Meanie. She rushed to her room and changed her clothes. Of course, I waited for her. It's such a stormy day outside. Since there's not much to do in this town, we just wandered around the park. It's really cloudy. I think the weather forecast also said it was going to rain today. That would... Oh. Hmm. See you wearing that black outfit you picked up by the store the other week. Nice. That would... That would be nice. We can share an umbrella if it's raining. Have one with me. What if it starts raining? No. Then we search for a shelter. Shouldn't be that hard. Oh, Alec. Really? Uh, well, I'm probably different because I live out in the boonies. Where there is no shelter but trees. Trees. 
Oh, look. It's raining. Oh, get under the tree. That doesn't really help much. Or you could dive in a lake. I've done that to get away from heavy rain before. But I soon figured out that defeats the purpose. So, um, yeah. I always carry an umbrella with me and my vehicle. Uh. She looked uncomfortable. Did I say something wrong? Oh, what's wrong? Thinking about the rain, I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Go before we left. I didn't have time because of you. <laughs> that was a joke. A bad one at that. Whatever. Is there a bathroom around here? Uh, just look at the sign over there. Follow the path and you'll come to the bathroom soon enough. Right. Just wait here. Don't move an inch, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'll wait. Please excuse me. She hurried to the restroom, and I just sat on a bench and waited. Mm, man. Did she get lost? Did she fall in? It's been nearly 10 minutes since she left. Hey, sometimes it takes me 45 minutes to, um, use the bathroom. Yeah, that's kind of personal. I'll just... But wouldn't it be weird if I followed her in to the restroom? Kind of? No. Well, depends on your culture. Takamatsukun! Huh? Ah, you're back. Wait, Zoro always called me by my first name. I looked around and saw... Ooh, who is that? Ooh, ooh, who is this new girl? Oh! And then sunglasses and purple beaming eyes. Mm. Uh, Misaki? No, I mean, Hazuma san. I can't believe it. My old crush, Hazuma Misaki, was standing right in front of me. Uh oh, this ain't gonna go well. Mm. Plot convenience, right? She looks so different. She had grown a bit. And with her shorter hair, she looked more like an adult. Though, her stylish clothes and the sunglasses on her head made her look like a tourist. Who cares? She's a hot tourist! <laughs> mm. Let's see. A voice. Mm. Why are you staring at me? Do I have something on my face? Uh, no, I I'm just surprised to see you. That's my life. Do you know how surprised I was when you just dropped out of school without a word? You never even responded to me in my emails. I'm sorry, things came up. You were the reason for that. I'm sorry. He said, everything could be different by now. What does she mean? For nothing should be different if I stayed at school. So, what are you doing now? Are you in college? That's right. I've started college this spring. I have summer break now, so I'm visiting my parents and some old friends. I'm really lucky I ran into you. I really wanted to see you again. Question, what do you think I've studied? That was easy. Of course I knew the answer since you wrote a lot about that topic. Biology! Bingo! I'm impressed that you remember your chat, our chats. Y yeah. There was a time where I read her messages over and over again. At some point, I must have memorized them. And what are you doing? Since you quit school, you can't go to college, right? Do you have a job? I can't tell her that I'm jobless and mooching off my parents, right? I'm, but I'm lying isn't good, in, uh, good either. If I tell her I'm working, she might want to visit my workplace, but if I tell her the truth, she'll think I'm a total loser. Wow, Alicoon. You're blind. Just say you're not working. Ah! Why do I even care what she thinks about me? I'm over her! Really? I am! Right? You're probably not if you have to question yourself. But I do agree. She is a... She's a looker. Takamatsu-kun. Thinking hard about it. Do you do something you can't talk about? 
something like that. Just roll with it. Are you working for a spy? As a spy for the NSA? Or maybe the FBI? Oh. Wait a minute. This is Jap Japan, right? I don't think there is anything like that here in Japan. Exactly! Well, you never know, right? Isn't the ni ni Naicho? What is that? Naicho doing something like that? I don't know. Because I don't work for them. Hmm. If you don't want to tell me that, then at least tell me what you're doing here. Are you on a date with your girlfriend? Since Sora isn't my girlfriend, there is no need to lie to her. Nope. I'm still single. Just getting some fresh air. You don't have one? So there's still hope. Why was she looking at me like that? A spark of passion. Oh my. Oh my. Huh? Hope for what? Do you remember our talk three years ago? Which one? It would be best to play dumb here. Ugh. On your last day of school, you confessed your feelings to me, and I rejected you, right? Oh, that. Please, forget about that. It was stupid. No, I won't forget that. Actually, I'm happy I ran into you. Now I can actually tell you. Tell me what? I was lying. Uh, what? What? Lying? What are you- she, she came closer to me and put her hands on my shoulders. This can't be real! Huh? She was getting real close to my face. I felt as if her gaze was sucking my soul out of my body. Ah! Ah! Not fair. Not cool. Not good. Don't tell me she saw that. According to her face expressions, yeah, she saw that. Owie King, I don't, I, I didn't know you had a girlfriend. I'm sorry. Sora just saw us and ran away. Follow her. Hey. I pushed Misaki gently away and ran after Sora. I probably won't see her again, but I don't care. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, it's pretty sad. Uh, girls have lied to me like that before. <laughs> Only because of dear friends. <laughs> I'm a liar, girls. Mm -mm. Lying's not the way to get a guy. Mm -mm. Unless you know he, he's stupid. I'm not stupid. I may be random. I may be mediocrely smart. But I'm wiser than any other jockey! No offense to you jockeys out there. You do a good service. Entertaining everyone. I can't play sports because of some, uh, you know, lung problems. <laughs> well, you don't need to know that. Unfortunately, it has started to rain. But I wasn't looking for shelter. I was too busy looking for Sora. Oh, the romantic in love! You finally admitted Sora! Sorry, that was too loud. Where are you, Sora? I was cold and wet and out of breath. <sighs> ah, Sora. <sighs> After running around the park for a while, I finally found her. Sora! She was standing still, soaked from the rain, just staring at the sky. Hey, why are you standing around here? You'll catch a cold. She looked at me, and I could see the tears in the corners of her eyes. I hugged her tightly. Whoa. Whoa. Ho. Oh, man, Alicud. You done gone and done it. You have finally got the girl. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Now that's what I call being a man. Don't say a word. Just calm down. Alicud. Don't say a word, just listen to me. First, 
that girl just now was an old classmate of mine, Isama Misaki. I have to admit that she was my first crush. Just listen to me, okay? You can ask your questions later. Hmm, wow. Passion. I was always a loner in school. People really spoke to me, and I really didn't have any friends. One day after school, I stayed in the classroom for a cleaning duty, and she spoke to me for a bit. I wasn't much talking, but she gave me her mail address so we could text each other. Well, we were texting a lot, and I fell for her. Someday, I took the courage... Someday I took the courage to confess to her. I got rejected. That was the last day I went to school and gave. And I've been a shut-in ever since. Well, until I met you. I can't really say why she tried to kiss me back there. But I covered my mouth with my hand. So the only one who could kiss me is you. Oh! Dang! Oh! Eh, really? Yeah. Well, you don't have to pity me or something like that because of my pathetic want wimping. I have only la one last thing to say, and I will only say it once. There's no turning back now. This time, it would be a good end. Sora, I like you. Please go on. What did you just say? Hey, I said I would only say it once. It's way too embarrassing. Aw, oh, Owie's acting like Katsune today. You like me? Yes. Since when? You always act like a burden. Like I'm a burden. It was probably love at first sight, to be honest. I'm a tsundere. So you agree. So I'm not good at showing affection. So, will you be my girlfriend? Yes, of course. I want to go out with you. I love you, Howie Ken. It was love at first sight for me, too. So, Howie Ken, I'm so happy right now. We hugged even tighter and stayed there for a while. Mmm. Mmm, what a massive turn of events. <laughs> Whoa. What would we do now? That's a close-up shot of hearts and stuff. Isn't that obvious? This time we do it, right? Yeah, let's start with a kiss. She closed her eyes and was ready for me to kiss her. I closed my eyes too and slowly came closer. It was only a small pick on the lips, but it was so sweet. Barely count. This barely counts as. Oh. This barely counts as a kiss. I'm just getting started. Don't you worry. Once again, our lips met. This time, it was last longer. <laughs> I forgot to breathe. <laughs> First time kisses. Oh, so classic. Mm. Once more. Mm. 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 Oh, okay, this is getting embarrassing. Kissing was such a great feeling. I couldn't stop. I know, right? <sighs> I could do this forever. Yeah, me too. Kissing is the greatest. And we kissed again. Are you serious? Chew. Really? Chew? <laughs> no. Do not ruin it. I'm ruining this. Ugh. And just kissing on the lips wasn't enough. I wanted to go eat more, even more of her. So I sticked out my tongue and traced the light shape of her lips. Wow, what are you doing? Uh, I just wanted to try a deep kiss. Ah, uh, right. That's part of kissing too. So, it is fun with you. Think, can you try to open your mouth? Sure. We started kissing again. <laughs> <laughs> what about 
She opened her mouth a bit and I stuck my tongue in. Oh. Oh. Okay. We twine our tongues. This feeling gave me goosebumps. Ooh. <laughs> We started slowly, but our tongues moved wild in no time. There was no way to stop now! Oh. Oh, sorry guys, that was my bad. My body was burning! I was at my limits! Do we have that choice? Uh, Sora, I can't take it anymore. I push her down on the bed. Oh my, I may have to age restrict this video. Oh, no, wait, nope. This is a good place to stop. It's already gone 20 minutes, so, uh, like, subscribe, because you definitely want to see what's gonna happen next. Uh, stay, well. I hope you come back for some more ales or my cue for something saucy. Mm. Man. Wow. This got tits.